from the training barn and I wanted to jump on and just give you a sneak preview of the Art of Equine Photography, our horse and human course. For anyone who's been wondering about joining this course, this is a great way just to get a sneak at what's included and how much content is here. So just coming down, you can see that we've got a nice little welcome and about Emily and myself. If you don't know about us, this is a great way to just dive in quickly and find out a little bit more about us and how we created our businesses. We then do a preparation for the course uh, presentation. And this is just to get you really sorted for getting the most out of your course. And we've got our top tips. This is available to print out, pop in your photograph bag and take with you on every shoot that you do. We've got this wonderful kickstart session. This is a real motivator. It's just over an hour long and it just sets you up right in the, in the right place. So listen to this first and you will be motivated, inspired to start the course with some gumption. We've got some extra bonuses here. We've got a full on location photo shoot video. It's a 45 minute training video and it is actually a behind the scenes of Emily Hancock on a photo shoot. And she talks you through why she finds the locations she does, how she uses them and how she poses her client in those locations. And you'll find here a, all the bonuses that are included in this course. And if I just click it, you'll see that we've got your daily planner, the posing flick book, your style guide, a complete shoot structure. This is about four pages long and it really breaks down a whole shoot so you can take that with you as well. Your posing and location card, the ideal checklist and all my camera settings from my full associateship panel with the British Institute of Professional Photographers. So let's just come back, <laughs> nice and easy. So here we have the overview. So in module one, we've got plan for productivity, preparing yourself, how to prepare the horse and preparing your client. If you miss this step in any of your photo shoots, you can prepare to fail. This is probably the most important part for any equine photographer. You and your client need to be 100% prepared and everything else will flow smoothly. Then in module two, we go over how to introduce your plans and how to plan out your shoot. It gives you the confidence and it makes sure you go into your shoot with positivity. How to meet and greet your client. This might sound like a, a really simple thing and very obvious, but actually there's a formula to spending some time with your client and their horse before you start shooting. We go deep into styling, what we suggest for all of our clients, no matter what their age or their gender. Styling's a, a real confidence boost for both yourself and your client. Location scouting, take some time when you get to your client's yard to really look for those locations and we talk you through how you can find them. Structuring a shoot is really important. Again, it gives confidence to you and your clients and there is a formula, so we've included it here and then managing expectations. We walk you through exactly what we say to our clients, our timelines, and which ones you should remember to tell them. You can see module three is all about posing. So we've got all these different poses in here, and in each lesson, we talk you through um, each of the poses, and we give you lots of examples, so you'll never run out of poses again. Module four looks at location, location, location. Again, if you've ever gone to a client's yard and you felt a bit creatively stuck or you've stumbled a couple of times, this is the module for you. Come on in and find out how you can use trees and hedges for natural frames. What sort of props can you use on, on yards, normal livery yards? So this is a great module for finding your feet and finding your confidence and picking your locations. There are two bonuses in this module, a full on location set. So this is a set of my images that have been taken in the new forest. So I've got no stables, no barns to use. So I show you how I use a forest setting. And then here's a full set of images used on a yard. It's a normal livery yard. And you can see the type of images that are created using that yard. Module five is light up your life. It is all about that tricky lighting. Both Emily and I use natural lighting only, but we do have a module on our artificial lighting too. But if you've ever worried about using direct sun, backlit, dappled or shade, it's all here for you. Again, get your confidence and your formula sorted. 
Last but not least is module six, your shoot and score. Getting the background set up for your business is essential. So we talk you through how you should set up your workflows, how you go into pick and reject in Lightroom. Even if you're an existing photographer, this might give you just a few other ideas of how you can fasten, quicken up your workflow in your studio. We then get into editing and consistency. This really helps your clients to narrow down their favorite images and spend some really good cash with you. I've got also an editing live with me, so I've filmed myself editing, going through a pick and reject, and then showing you the final images. And then make sure you don't miss off the analysis and delivery. Analyzing your own work and making it the best it can be is really important for your business. So there we go, it's a big course everyone, full of amazing, amazing content, and you'll be ready to go once you've completed it. Thanks for listening. We hope to see you in the course soon.